Hi, this is Corrine for Cut It Home, and today I'm excited to share something new with you today. This is the Deluxe Flower Shaping Kit from Heartfelt Creations, and with this kit you can get very dimensional flowers. So I'd like to show you what's included and how it works. This kit has the stylus tool, 10 different nibs, it comes with an embossing mat and a piercing mat. So it comes with a piercer, these are all interchangeable, a 1 millimeter, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and a 12 millimeter is the largest stylus. And it also comes with a curler so you can um, curl your petals. So it comes in this box and it is magnetized. Here is your embossing mat which is a perfect size for flowers. Here is your piercing mat. And then here are all your stylus and your piercer as well. I liked also to use the smaller stylus in my Martha Stewart scoring board. So when you put it in your tool, it, it fits perfectly in these grooves so you can score your card or whatever project that you're working on. So I like that they come with all different sizes. Today I will be using the largest one which is the 12 millimeter. And also here is the curling tool. So let me show you up close. What you do with this is you actually, um, once it's in your tool, which let me show you that, how that works, there's a magnetic piece in both of these. So you simply just put it in there and it will grab it and hold it in place. So these are interchangeable. Depending on what project you need, you can um, put your piercing tool on one side and your stylus on the other. So here's the curling tool. You sim simply just slide it right onto the petal and bend the petal around it. I like to twist it and bend it. And let me show you what that did to that petal. So it curls it perfectly. It's kind of like a, a quilling tool. So let me set that aside and demonstrate um, what I'm doing. Here I have some flowers that I stamped out using the Ariana Bloom set and I do have a start to finish on this project that I will play at, this video, at the end of this video as well if you're interested. So these are the Ariana Blooms. I love these flowers. I also use my Fiskars stamp press to press it on. If you don't have one of these or a large acrylic block, it works by itself. You can just press it directly on, being that this is a, a thick rubber, and it, you'll get a great impression every time. I also use the Ariana Blooms dies. So I put it right through my Big Shot and I get a perfect cut every time. And what I used today, which I'm so excited about, these are the Sizzix cutting pads. These are brand new. These are coming out in March. You may have seen these at CHA or on a video. Um, they have mint, grape, and watermelon. So as you can see, here are my old cutting mats. So as you can see, I really did need new ones. So I'm excited that these can be pretty as well as functional. So I took the flowers and colored them with the Spectrum Noir. I used the primary colors and I used the three pinks in there. I also used Worn Lipstick Distress Ink to stamp my flowers. So the first thing I like to do, let me set some of this aside, is lay out my flowers. I do several at once because I never know exactly how many I'm going to use. And I have a small water bottle here and I like to just spritz them very lightly and that will help my, my um, fibers in my paper bend a little bit more, be a little bit more flexible. So now I'm just simply going to pat that off. And I will start with my largest flowers first. Bring over my embossing mat. 
Okay, and what I like to do is place the flower, this is the stamp side down on the mat. I'm going to use the largest stylus. And you want to press down in a circular motion on each of the flower petals. And right away you'll see the dimension on these petals and on this flower. So I'm just doing a circular motion and I'm running it along that entire petal flower to break up the fibers in the paper. Now you want to flip it to stamp side up. Do the exact same thing in the middle of the flower. You want to rub it in a circular motion. And look at the dimension on that. Isn't that great? So I'm going to do that with my largest flowers. I'll do it with all four of my flowers. these are my second size down I am going to change the stylus size that's more appropriate for the smaller flower so this I believe is the eight millimeter this is the eight millimeter stylus that I'll be using and I'll do the exact same thing on the back of these Okay, so this is my third size down, and I will switch this out. And do the exact same thing. And you can see how easy that was. This little embossing mat is a must have to do this. It gives just enough cushion that it allows the flower to um, easily, you can work this in to the flower. This is also great, you can use as a stamping mat too to help you get a better image when you stamp. So now you simply want to glue these together. Also, let me just show you on the second size down, when I curl these since it's a little bit bigger of a flower so I think I'll curl these up I'm just grabbing it in there and twisting my petal around it I'm going to do that with all of these petals here So I'm sliding it right into the middle of that tool and I'm bending it around. And look at the difference in the petals that you get with that. So again, it just gives it a little bit more, um, a little bit different look. So now I'm simply going to use a little bit of hot glue and adhere these together. I will alternate the petals on each one that I glue down. And I think to make this petal, this flower, very dimensional, I'm going to do all four flowers on the large one. Just kind of work with my petals here, holding the middle in place while I'm bending them around. And now, if I want, I can add one to the middle of this. 
I think I'm going to. I think I'll add one to the middle. This is the next size down. And look at that. Isn't that adorable? Now I will use my last three petals and adhere those together. As you can see, I have three very dimensional flowers. And these were super easy to do. I will also place a brad in the middle of this one. So I think I'm going to put this little pearl brad in the, in the center of this large flower. Maybe I'll put it in the second size flower. So I'm grabbing my pier piercing mat. I will grab my piercing tool out and just switch that out with one of these. I'll switch it out with the curling tool, pop that in. And now you have a piercing tool. So you can pierce directly into this piercing mat. So you want to find the center, press down, give it a little twirl, that'll make the hole a little bit larger. And you want to pull that out. And now you can easily place your bread in there. Open up the back side. And then I like to refluff my flower every time I'm messing with it. And now there you have it. Isn't that cute? So you get a lot of tools in one with this and to me I absolutely love this. I'll have this linked in the description box below. If you have any questions please let me know. And I will also have all the other products that I used today linked for you as well. So if you'd like to stay tuned for the start to finish um, on the project that I'm using for these, please stay tuned. Thanks for watching.